Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Gold Sun the Lost Age! Last episode we went into Treasure Island and we defeated the Star Magician and got the summon Azul. Between the last episode and this episode, I did some massive grinding. My characters are about 10 levels higher than they, they were in the last episode. The reason being is because this dungeon is the hardest dungeon in the game. Especially the boss at the end of the buff dungeon. You need to be very high level in order to defeat him. Um, also, while I was grinding, I was... Keep in mind, I was grinding at a... Uh, what's it called? Sea of Time Isolate, that's it. I got the Tessaphone Edge, uh, dropped an uh, item from, uh, what was it, Cruel Dragon, that's it, Cruel Dragon dropped this, by rare occasions while I was grinding. Yeah, this sword is the, actually the, um, I want to say the strongest light blade in the game, so I thought it would be fitting to give it to Ivan. So yeah, and Alicia's Vengeance is kind of like, in a way, kind of like... Excalibur, in a way, because it does random amount of unleashed damage. It does a lot of crap. Also, like I did, I forged a lot of material, as you can see. Uh, Felix got a new shield. And... Who else? Oh yeah, Isaac got a new shield. Garrett got a new helmet. Um, what else? But yeah, I've got an extra Dark Matter, because Dark Matter is pretty much useless now. If I get any more, I won't have any use for them. Um... Who else got a new thing? He got the Mithril Helmet. That's yeah, from Mithril Silver. Isaac got the Cosmo Shields from the Ori Calcon. Yeah, the Terra Shield from Dark Matter. I think that's it. But anyways, I am ready to go and fight this dungeon. Oh boy. Wish me luck, guys. This uh, this dungeon's going to be bad. Anyways, I, I spawned here in T Contigo because that's where we need to go. You see this teleport pad? Actually, before we go anywhere, I've don't want to use that just yet. Come over here, and we go to Nemo Sanctum. If we come up all the way, and I did not do this first time we came up here and visited. I don't understand why I did not. See that the door is locked there. Actually, if you go up and cast Reveal, the door opens. You can actually go inside. This is a Nemo's Inner Sanctum. This dungeon is bad. And Elemental Star music. This is the music from, um, Soul Sanctum. Anyways, we want to grab this chest first, because they have no way of getting it. That is the dragon skin. Yeah, more forgeable material that I probably don't need. But anyways, you're probably wondering, what the heck is this room? We're gonna get there. Hold on just a second. Let me go back and let's go use that teleport pad in the middle of town. Oh my god, I am not ready for this. This dun- like I said, this dungeon is going to be tough. Uh, that's why I had to grind for so much, like... Okay, Jenna learned a new move. Ivan learned a new move. Shiva learned a new move. Isaac and Felix knew, learned a new move. It's freaking ridiculous. And for some reason, Mia did not learn Pure Wish yet. <sighs> Wish she did, though, because I really need that right now. Anyways, cast Teleport here. Whoa! And... We spawn in the middle of an emo sanctum. Inner Sanctum, I should say. Anyways, if you're probably wondering what this room is, you see those four lights there? They all come in handy here. And if you see this, there's one for Venus. There's one for Mars. There's one for Mercury. And there's one for Jupiter. This, this Sanctum, this dungeon, is only accessible if you have gotten every single Ginny in the game, which we have. As of last episode, we've gotten every single Ginny. So we're able to access this. And you can only get this if you transfer data uh, that had 100% of the Ginny in that game, too. So you had had completely 100% in both this game and the last game in order to access this dungeon. This, this is kind of your reward for completing 100% both games. So let's go up to Venus first. As you see, we have all 18 Venus Shinny. So the first light is Now this is a good way to keep track on how many Shinny you need, too, if you want to know for sure. 
And we got more, so we've got all 18 more shitty. Half of it's done. Like I said, we have completed this. We have 100% at this game. Shin wise, so. Mercury. And the third light it lights. And then finally, Jupiter. We've gotten every single shin in the game. I can't stress this enough. I've worked hard for almost a. I want to say almost a year now to get to this point. This let's play has been going on for almost a year now. Anyways, we have completely... Oh my god, lag? Really? Now? Okay, guys, I'm going to be right back. I am deeply sorry about that, guys. Gosh, I was getting all sentimental here because it, I like this dungeon. But it's hard as balls, man. Anyways, the door is open to us. We can now go inside. We can now go deeper into this inner sanctum. And just for getting all the genie, we get a summon tablet. We inherited the power of the land to create a great darkness. If you crave this power, attack this slate. We go and re-examine the stone tablet. And we get more ancient language. Go into my mind's ancient language! We can now summon Sharon. Not Sharon from Pokemon White version. <laughs> okay, to summon Sharon, you need eight Venus and two Jupiter standby gems that are needed. Actually, in the last episode, we got another one. I might as well show it off now. We got another one was called Azul, and we need three Venus for Mercury. Okay, let me go set that real quick. Three Venus. We'll run into a monster and I'll, I'll show it off. But anyways, if you notice the music, this is Soul Sanctum from the first game. This is the music from Soul Sanctum in the first game. I really love that they did this for the final dungeon. Or the final optional dungeon, that is. Come up this way. Jump across here. Now we're going to run into these monsters. Grave, right, ga <laughs> Grave White, 1, 2, and Sky Dragon up here. I'm going to summon a Zool. Hopefully, I think this will kill him. But anyways, this is the zoo. I like this song. <laughs> yeah, I did not kill him. Why did I defend that? <laughs> Good lord. Okay. My characters are very strong, by the way. Like I said, I've been grinding a lot since the last episode. Thank you, speed up button. That's all. Look, it didn't. He didn't do that much damage to me. These monsters aren't doing that much because I have. This is a. This is a phone angel leash. This is. Is this guy defending too? Good lord. Anyways, now I'm going to show off Sharon. We need. Eight, eight Venus. Holy crap. Okay, and how many? Two Jupiter. Okay, so we need to use two Jupiter again. There we go. I'll just show off Sharon just because. And then I'll have shown off every... Okay, this puzzle. Before we get onto that, this puzzle. You see this guy here? They move with your character. You have to guide this it's like a stone slate over to the other side without it falling. Otherwise, you have to reset the puzzle. Anyways, it goes at like an opposite, I think. Yeah, direction and whatnot. Then you need to make it. Yep. It's, that one was pretty simple, but it'll get more complicated as we get going along in the dungeon. Oh, boy. Now, I'm going to push this column here so we can get easy access back in case we ever need to come back. And imagine you're here. Okay, I might as well show off Sharon. The boatman of the river sticks. Okay. Here's Sharon. damage I did. Holy crap. Grand 
Gaia. Oh boy, we haven't learned that move yet. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm going to split up this episode of the dungeon, of my dungeon run it into two episodes because one, I can get through this just fine. That'll be an episode itself, me going through this dungeon. The next episode is the boss. Oh boy, if you guys have already played the game, you already know what this boss is. This boss is your worst nightmare. This boss is your worst nightmare. This boss is even even more evil. Even more evil than the Star Magician. Yes, I said that. Anyways, you step on this, and in order to activate this puzzle, you need to illuminate these lights here by stepping on them. That causes that elevator to go up that way. We want to go up this way. Okay, I think everybody's good. Let's actually, I'm gonna switch over to Felix's team. There we go. Now we get... Lag? Computer, seriously, why are you lagging now? Seriously, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That That is really getting annoying. I don't like that. Anyways, now we can push this log. Or run into freaking more mad demons. Um, after this dungeon, I'm going to be just... Like I said, I'm going to be implementing a little trick called the RNG method. Which allowed me to get... Uh, very, very strong items without very much work. Ow, ow, ow. Freaking dude. I don't like these monsters, by the way. Like I said, these monsters are very strong. And you would take kindly. This is why I grinded so much. Oh, boy. Boom. Okay, now let's kill this mad demon. Mad demon! There we go. Die. There we go. Now we can push this log all the way over so it can get out of our way. Yeah, I know, I'm wasting time pushing the freaking... Why do I keep calling those logs? I don't understand. I've always called those logs when I was a kid. Um, I think I'll just go this way. Yep. I love this music. Soul Sanctum is, is honestly one of my favorite tracks in the game because it's so calm and relaxing. And especially that the fact that they use this in this dungeon. Of all places to use it. <laughs> Kill the Grave Whites. God dang it, really? You nimbly dodge it. Legend. Boom, 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 he's dead. Please, for the mother of God, do not. Okay, good. I was gonna say, do not haunt me. I do not want that, especially where I'm going. Going. Yeah, where I'm going next. I don't need a haunting to hinder me, even worse. Um, I think it'd be best if I went this way first. Yes, it is. Okay. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna... Because I'm gonna go that way anyway, so I'm just gonna fall down. The reason why is because I did need to go downstairs first. There is a treasure chest here. And inside is even more dark matter. Ugh, I don't really need a dark matter now at this point. Because the only character that I'm going to be using that has the cursed weapons is Felix. So, yeah. And he's pretty much got all the cursed items that you can possibly get with the Dark Matter. So, yeah. Deadly Poison! Excalibur! Legend! Dude! I did not know. Kill these Sky Dragons. Boom! 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 Legend. Doosh, doosh. I've only seen it... Okay, one thing about the Legend Unleash. I've only seen it drop one sword and drop three. I've never seen it drop two. Has anyone ever seen that Unleash drop two swords instead of one or three? Anyways, this... No, that, that, yeah, that's my question for right now. This puzzle is kind of tricky. You need to eliminate the light, but like I said before, you can drop below. Like in, like in a... Jupiter Lighthouse. This this is the same puzzle from Jupiter Lighthouse. Just follow what I'm doing. This is how you illuminate them all. And voila. Now we can go up. Go up. Up to the next level. Okay, now let's go this way. Oh, come on. Really? Kill one mad demon. Rising dragon. Boom. Boom. Akron's grave. 
Okay, that guy's dead. Okay, good. Condemn. Oh god, please. Okay. <laughs> I think, honestly, these guys have, like, the, the effects aren't gonna, uh, like, um, affect me very much, because, like I said, oh my gosh, I, sp I probably spoke too soon, did I? Nope, I did. Okay, good. Because my characters are kind of a little bit higher level than most people would go in here. Most people use this as a grinding spot for the boss, but I was like, I thought ahead, I was like, um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the Sea of Time Island to grind even faster that way. Okay, I'm going to push this log so I can make easy access to coming back. Now this puzzle is in fact tricky. This puzzle is really tricky. So keep that in mind, kids. Kill this guy. Whoa! Felix is slower than everybody? That is a first. He is slower than everybody. That has never happened. Anyways, let's cast a lift. The gimmick of this one is you have to push that log all the way over and whatnot. So, yeah, it's pretty tricky. Um, I'm gonna go up this way first. Because actually, there's two paths you need to go in order to solve this puzzle. You need to come down this way. Never mind. Son of a gun. Never mind, I, I can't go that way. Um, I forgot I have to do the other one first. <laughs> Whoops. Eh. Really? Kill the mad demon. One at a time. Doom. Akron Scream. You're dead. Infected with deadly poison. Never mind, he's not dead. Oh. My. God. Well, if the poison did its job, Pierce is at level 1 HP. God, he took freaking 903 damage. Holy crap. That's what Vital Moon does to you, kiddies. Boom. 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 He's dead. Okay, now I need to keep healing your ass. I'm going to heal you. There we go. Lift. I'm almost tempted to hit the speed up button because I've been hitting the speed up button a good when I was grinding. Oh boy. You know, if I was playing another, like, uh, if I was playing this on a Game Boy player, I would not be able to, you know, use that to my advantage. I'd actually have to play legitimately and probably. <gasps> Excuse me. S uh, spend a lot of time on that. Anyways, we're gonna use the Searing Beam. Tempest. Tempest. Dude. Searing Beam. These are the new uh, new uh, moves that Jenna, Shiva, and Felix have in fact. These are very powerful cyanide energy attacks. So. But, yeah, then we come on to this. This one's a little bit more trickier. What I do for this puzzle is I try to, you know, get over there, and then when I do this, I walk downwards because he cannot move because that block is there. I try to make him in front of me so I can direct him to the end of the puzzle just fine. There we go. See? That wasn't that bad. Now, what to move this one? We're gonna move it all the way to the side there, and then we gotta go backtrack again. God damn it. Ugh, I don't like that. Well, in this game especially, I don't mind backtracking, but when I'm recording, I don't like backtracking all of a sudden. I don't know. Like, usually in games, I don't mind backtracking, especially in the Metroid series, I absolutely love backtracking in the game, because it'd be like, <gasps> I got a new ability! Oh, yay! I can go access that point. But, yeah, it's just that way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm being silly, I guess. Now, this one, now we need to cast lift here. Like I said, I'm going to be splitting this episode into two. Because, well, this is a pretty lengthy dungeon, if you couldn't tell already. We already spent like 20 minutes on here. Okay. Another mad demon. Good lord. Now, I'm going to be talking about, as soon as we get to the boss, I'm going to be talking about a story my friend Fenris Darkseal did when he tried to record this game. Yeah. He did something spectacular. 
that not a lot of people do. I notice this. A lot of people in or I'll tell the strategy when I get to there. But yeah, he did something completely different. Okay, now I need to cast it again. No, not force, not force, Matt. I didn't mean to use that much. He is left. There we go. And now I can push this column. Let's call it log. Now we can push this column out of the way. And then we can push this column all the way over to that switch. And we can open that door. See why how many times you had to backtrack in order to get this puzzle to work first? Yeah. Get the puzzle to work. Get the puzzle to work. Okay. Anyways. Come down this way and we head back downstairs. I think this is the last I may be wrong. Hello, Sky Dragon. Killing you. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? I didn't kill him? Damn it. First arm. There we go. He's dead. Okay, okay. Um. Nope. Not that way. I had a hunch it wasn't that way. But I went up there anyways. Okay, this puzzle. Okay. This is kind of like implementing the same tactic. But, huh. as you can see, I cannot walk any for more forward. What I usually do is I go up a little bit, come above that, and then I move this way, and then move this way. Then I do the same tactic that I did last time. Please. Oh, I think I screwed it up. Yep, I screwed it up. But, you see what I did. I do the same thing that I did last time. But I'm not going to do it as more forward this time. Okay. Come on, Matt. You can do this. You did this before. Practice. No, we don't want that to fall down. Okay. There we go. We got to manage to squeeze on past there. There we go. That didn't take that long. But, what is, what is in this room? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, well, we don't want that. We want to go down here first. Gosh darn it. Forgot we're not going to go into that room just yet. First one, we'll start. Rising Dragon. Boom. Akron's grave. Everybody's unleashed. Except Pierce. Pierce isn't going to unleash because he would attack the same guy. Okay. We didn't get infected. Okay, the poison flow. You need to be mindful of that because if you're not careful, you will be infected with deadly poison. But, and the sky dragon is dead. There we go. But now we got to go in here. And all the way at the top, the tippity tippity top, right here is more Oricalcon! Or best. Gosh, they, they start handing us out. Especially from these guys, because you in fact can get a drop rate of Oricalcon from these sky dragons. If I do the RNG method, I will show you how to get that. I might not with the dark matter, though, because, well, I have no need for dark matter anymore. But I guess I could show it off just for the sake, in case you guys want to see how to get more dark matter. In all honesty, the most you ever need is three. All honesty. The most you ever need, dark matter-wise, is three. Because, well, the other two items... The stealth armor, uh, I didn't show that. The stealth armor is powerful armor, but in fact, some of your cur more curtains, like the demon mail from the first game that I got, is a lot stronger than that one. And the other one is a, is a circlet. I'm not using a character that uses a circlet that has more cursed items on it. Anyways, in order to get past this puzzle, this puzzle is very tricky. You need to get past this way. You need to follow what I'm doing. Go there, and then go this way. And then... Ow! More Sky Dragons. First Star. Okay, Legend. Watch it kill it. Boom. No, never mind. Ow. Poison Blow. Ow! Okay, that did not kill. Did not. I'm not getting it. Okay, this is, this is a good run so far. Might have some luck at the boss. Ow, ow, ow. 
Like, literally, these guys aren't doing that much damage to him. It takes a lot of crap to kill them, but... Oh, well. I'm patient. But anyways, let's go this way. And do not go f south. You don't need to go there. Just east. What you need to do... Well, first off, we need to kill these idiots first. Tempest. And... Glacia. Boom. 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 Siri. Beam. Boom. And Stone Spire. Ow. They're dead. Okay, okay. Now what you need to do is you need to push this column over. So you can use sand on that side. And you see what they did there. Oh, I can heal just because I can. And we come down this way. And now you move over to the other side. There we go. And then cast sand. I still have a sword cut. I freak just now realized it. Now we can push this column over. And then we're going to go this way. And it unlocks the last area. The last puzzle in this dungeon. We have to construct the bird of Onemos. This is a pretty straightforward puzzle because they kind of give you the solution already there. But this was an easy one anyways. What we need to do is we need to push this. This is the body of the bird right here. You push it in the middle. And this is the left top wing of the bird. So we need to push it on the left top corner. And then we need to push this. This is the bottom right of the bird. This is the lower left of the bird. And push this way. I know it's taking a long time. Push faster, Felix. This is why I love the speed up button on the emulator. Because <laughs> then it makes the pushing job a lot easier. And this is the top right of the bird. Top right wing of the bird. Yeah, push. 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 And then cast move. And then finally, we are missing the head of the bird. Which is right here. Push it here. Push this way. And with that, we complete the bird of Animos. Now, I'm going to be doing something real quick. I'm going to be jumping on it. You can probably guess what you're supposed to do here. I am not going to do it just yet. I'm actually going to end the episode here, because once you do this, you are leading to the boss. Yeah, there's no, like, itty-bitty save point, so I am definitely going to save here. This is... I definitely need to. Uh, let's save here. Actually, hold on a second. Save here. But anyways, in the next episode of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age, we are going to fight... The toughest boss in the game. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao, everyone!